Hey there, welcome back to the Virtual Cafe for another coffee combo about finances. I'm your host Kerry Zab, and I'm inviting you to join me at my table with your favourite brew. So let's pull up our chairs and get into today's episode. Come on, let's go, it's coffee time. The term on fire has a double meaning for me. I'm on fire, as in I'm on a roll and kicking goals. The other side is something is on fire, as in it's a hot mess and too much to even deal with. Which one do you want for your finances? I have to give kudos for this episode from one of our amazing community members, Jesse Hernandez who has been running a series of rooms on Clubhouse on Mondays at 7am Central Time in the My Sexy Business Club. Jessie's conversations have been all about starting fires in our business and life. For me personally, joining these discussions has opened my eyes to how we can self-sabotage elements of our own environment in small things daily to mammoth things long term. When I look back at my financial dumpster fire, which I do on a regular basis, and you've heard me mention this probably way too many times, I know my business finances went from a small, smouldering ember into a complete out of control forest fire. Strangely enough, I can make this connection even more as I spent years on the farm becoming fire conscious and witnessing the annual burn offs on the side of the road, which was all in aid of fire prevention. We've all seen what happens when a fire starts, even if it's just the strike of the mat placed on the kindling. When a fire gets the right combination of fuel and oxygen, it easily turns into a roaring, controlled or out of control power. Now before you get out your matches and look at that pile of paperwork staring at you right now, I want you to take a moment and think of the pile as the fuel the fuel you need to avoid creating fire in your finances. When we put off working on our finances, this can create the opposite effect of the fuel catching on fire because we aren't paying attention or we just don't give it the priority it needs. Do you find your finances confusing or overwhelming? Well, guess what? You're not alone. I'm Kerry Zab and I am your financial designer. It's time to take away those sleepless nights, all the stress and pressure we feel from those flippin' digits. The Biz Beans Club is available to you with virtual gatherings held on the third Monday of each month at 6pm Central Time. And I'd love you to join us to ask questions, gain access to resources so that you can get in control of your business and personal finances. If this sparks your interest, you can find the link in the show notes of this episode. How do we stop our finances from catching on fire? I mentioned this before about witnessing the burn-offs conducted in the rural area that I grew up in. It can be much of the same principle of having a fire prevention plan in place. This can be as simple as scheduling time to work on your finances, keeping a regular eye on the numbers and keeping them under control to avoid the fire breaking out. If this schedule has gotten away from you, something else to consider is conducting what I call the mop-up. Traditionally, this comes after the fire. However, I also like to think that we can run this for our catch-ups before the big blaze takes hold. Either of these ways can lead us to my finances are on fire, in the good way, all under control, humming along, and we can rest easy to know that we have them on close watch so that those little sparks don't turn into the forest fires. Today's financial quote is from Richard Branson, never go into business purely to make money, If that's the motive, you're better off doing nothing. And guess what? Sparks happen. I don't know if anyone ever gets it perfect. The sparks may still fly into our finances and if we're paying attention, bam, put that sucker out, quick smart, 
and it can be a tiny spot fire instead of a roaring disaster. Unlike in the great outdoors, we have the power to control our financial environment. We are far less susceptible to Mother Nature's climate in our numbers with our little radars on high alert. And sure, forecasting is an ugly word, almost as ugly as budgeting, right? We can actually start to forecast our own weather report across our finances and see those cold fronts coming in with low or high pressure system warnings, just like you see on the news. Okay, so I've now flipped from fires to weather, so let's rein it back in. Which one applies to you? Are your finances on fire? Totally controlling your finances is a long game. Like many other chores in life, it can feel endless. Washing your clothes, cleaning the house, those things need doing and they never go away. Just like these tasks, your finances can reach maintenance mode. Remember, it's never too late to get in control of your finances. We all start somewhere, and if we never start, we run the risk of bigger financial problems heading our way. Thanks for joining me in the virtual cafe today. You can follow the show to be notified of future episodes and if you're enjoying this podcast, you can also leave a rating or personal review. Until next time, happy biz beans to you.